If you're an adventurous couple or a small family that wants something 25 feet long, can sleep four people comfortably, but has the Keystone Cougar amenities and features, you're gonna love the 22 RBS. Of course, when I lay down, that's when Robert decides to shove the camera in my face and try to get me to tell people about this beautiful Keystone Cougar 22 RBS. What's up? It's Chris Young. Oh, man, back like the vertebrae, which right now feels good on this high-density foam king-size mattress nestled in the front cap of this 22 RBS. And right away, I'm noticing I have really good headroom. I'm not going to turn over in the middle of the night and hit my elbow on some shelf uh, like I have done in some RVs. And I see that I have my privacy window right here. I'm just gonna lift up the shade a little bit so, so you can kind of see. This, to me, if you're an adventurous couple, you wanna get out and about, you wanna see America the safest way possible, you wanna see the sights, imagine pulling up to the beach, watching the waves crash right there while you sip a morning coffee, or watching the sunrise, watching the sunset, just reconnecting with the loved ones and having some fun. I mean, that's what RVing is really all about. And when you have space and comfort like this, that beautiful barn decor, frosted glass inlays here with the hideaway hinges, that quality keystone construction that Cougar is known for. Plus I got my mirrored ward storage on both sides, 110 and dual USB on both sides, plus nightstand, cubby corners, I mean, for the couple that doesn't want to leave any creature comforts of home in an RV that is a premier top selling RV for a reason, just take a look, 84 inch high barrel ceilings. They even cover the panels with wood molding that matches. Just, it just looks good. Feels good. Looks good. It is good. Strut supported storage under the king size bed here and giant windows over on my sides as well. Well, not really giant, but pretty big, uh, giving me some good cross flow of air, really good light. I, uh, Keystone is one of my favorite manufacturers. People know this. I don't make any qualms about it, but I'm also, I'm also picky. I mean, there are a lot of great RVs out there. Uh, there are a lot of great manufacturers out there. Everybody has their favorites. This just happens to be one of mine. I got my TV mounted right here. It's a little bit larger. Usually you get like a 20 some inch, 26, 27. This looks to be like a 39 inch right here. It is on the swivel so I can watch it whether I'm in the recliners over there or I'm in the bed right here. I got my privacy curtain. Now this is where the rubber meets the road with the 22 RBS. If you are an active family, you got a couple of kids that are coming with you and you want that true separation of space, this is all you got. Okay, you got the privacy curtain. That's pretty much all you got. Good for if you don't want the kids to see you snoring or if you need to change or something like that. But if you need sound dampening, not really gonna help. Because when we step out into the living area, you'll see the one slide on this 22 RBS houses the Allure Furniture Recliners. Now, some of them do have the dinette, which is also a sleeper in it. Um, but people say you can't sleep on recliners. I beg to differ. You kick this out. You recline it back. This is a plush, extra thick pillow top Allure recliner. You're at the beach, you're at the mountains. You got some of the largest in-class panoramic windows with decorative wood balances all the way around it. You open those up and get the cross breeze going. You're out. I mean, just, that's, that's going to be a good night's sleep. Just saying. So this one, the 22 RBS with the recliners is for the active couple. They do have the one that has the dinette in the slide. That's for the active family or a family with small kids. Can sleep up to, you know, two to four. This one, two for sure. You got the woven slide right here. So it's carpetless. Mushroom lights. The light slide here, the solid wood with the dark inlays, which is a feature you're going to see here in the rustic decor when I come over to the campsite and show you this kitchen. Look at my brushed nickel fixtures right here. The beveled edges on the doors, the hideaway hinges, the marks of quality construction. Flush mounted microwave right here, the Greystone high output. Speaking of high output, you do have the high output burner right here on the front of the Furion uh, 
you have the Furion range with the grill style cover and the glass grate, solid surface countertop with the beveled edges, undermounted stainless steel sink right here with the high rise faucet and the sprayer nozzle. Plus I have the large window right here giving me access to viewing what's going on on the outside. I got the bar raised top right here, which to me, if you're the active couple and you're hanging out, you can get you a couple of bar stools. Just kind of sit right here, talk, you know, maybe somebody's prepping, somebody's, you know, you're swapping in and out. It, that is just a nice little added feature. Or you can just set some decorations on it, you know, whatever. You have the option of doing it. But you got plenty of countertop prep space, more storage. And I got my Furion AM FM Command Center right here. Dual zone, got the USB, multifunction, got great speakers. You got a 15K BTU AC on this one, 30K BTU furnace on this one. Um, so insulate it for zero to hundred degrees too. I mean, you can't beat that for a little small 25 foot RV. That's roughly 5,600 pounds dry. It's a nice little feature and check out all the storage I have here on the kitchen before we get to the RB of this RBS or better known as a rear bath, solid wood construction, great storage. Good spot for the trash can right there. More storage right there. Plus I got my cabinet doors right here for my storage. Once again, those hideaway hinges and a 10 cubic foot fridge freezer combo that runs on both gas or excuse me. No, this is the, uh, this is a Norcold fridge. Yeah, man, look at the space on that. This is nice. There's 12 volt fridges. I like these because they're also frost resistant. Got more space and storage back here along the rear wall. So, you know, even for being 25 feet long, and, and having all these amenities, all these features, and only one slide, I mean, you do a really good job of storage. Plus, it's sturdy. And not to mention, you have a hyperdeck flooring. You got in-floor ducted heat with that tough lock duct system that, that really allows us to, um, you know, keep everything heated and cool the way we want to. And the hyperdeck flooring is a laminated polypropylene that, you know, it has a moisture barrier on it that you know kind of keeps the moisture out of the rv coming to the last part here the rear bath portion of this rv and right away i love the glass enclosure probably would have liked to seen the frosted glass inlay here but it's a neo angled shower got the high rise in here the skylight i don't even really need it with the 84 inch high ceilings giving me additional light and headroom plus i got the porcelain bowl with the foot flush right there high rise toilet more storage space up here in the corner and undermounted sink on my vanity right here, which is really nice because you don't have that edge, that seal that's going to get dirty. Brush nickel fixtures there and mirrored medicine cabinet right here. Plus, I got my powered vent fan. I mean, there's just so many features, so many creature comforts. I could spend all day talking about the Keystone Cougars. But this 22 RBS, 25 feet long, roughly 5,600 pounds dry, king size bed with panoramic window on the front cap. Great for that couple of that active small family that wants to get out, see America the safest way possible. What do you say we go check out the outside? So here we're on the outside, the 2021 Keystone Cougar Half Ton 22 RBS. Now I mentioned on the inside, the Cougar Half Tons are made for those trucks that are half ton trucks, don't need a big one. With this one being 25 feet long, roughly 5,500 pounds, dry weight, you should be okay there. Should always get your specialist to check for you. But great for the active family, the small family, or the couple. Look at that painted fiberglass end cap with that automotive coating, that beautiful privacy window that I mentioned on the inside, LED run-in lights, got the mini diamond plated rock guard right here, got that stamped structural I-beam frame down there, really giving you some good support. Got the twin 30-pound LP tanks up here as well. Powered tongue jack with LED light as well. And the underbelly on this one, it is enclosed and heated and it's a one piece underbelly under there. So it gives you a little bit of additional protection and insulation. Once again, these are rated from zero to hundred degrees. Magnetic anti-slam on the pass through storage. And you'll see this is finished off. We got the LED lights are in command. We got our power jacks over there. Now this one is set up for the observation camera on the back, but it's also set up if you want to get the side vision, you can get that as well. If you really want that 360 protection when driving down the road, that's a very nice to have. Beautiful, large awning with the LED light strip, fiberglass with the graphics. I'm just a fan of Cougar's design. Sealed safety glass all the way around. We got our key TV 
outside connections and power right there. So if you want to set up a TV, you got your cable and your satellite right there. Plus we got those aluminum rims. Man, they got those things glossed up and shining right, don't they? On the Dexter Easy Lube axles with the never adjust brakes. Very nice to have too. And going down the road, that's really going to help keep you safe and stable. Solid step over steps leading into the main entry point here with the grab handle. Got my four x four sewer hose storage. Got my key TV connections get plugged in right there behind this little plastic door right here. 300 pound rated hitch on there, spare tire mounted on the back as well. Solid ladder going over the top. There's those beautiful, that arch. Remember on the inside, we had those arch ceilings. There it is, there's the grade. That's gonna really do a good job keeping the rain, the snow off of that bad boy. And those nozzles are gonna make sure it doesn't fall on you or the slide. Got a 30 amp plug right, chow. Gray tank and black tank terminations are right there. Got the Keystone True Fit Slides. These are made so that it minimizes the components of moving the slide in and out. And I've got to tell you, having that, well, I mean, you minimize the components, you can minimize the stuff that can break, right? Exactly, or at least that's what my dad always says. Got our external docking station right here, which is where you have your sprayer port, your black tank flush, your water connection, your winterization connection, and we are pre-wired for solar. So if you wanna plug in your 10 amp, your panels to trickle charge your battery, there's your quick connect right there. And right over here on the other side of our pass-through storage, you'll see we have our power jacks. Got your front and your rear, run those out. You'll see them under here. Bobby, there we go. Yeah, you got your power stabilizer jacks right there. Also very nice for setting up, makes life so much easier. But the most important part of any RV is going to be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this bad boy weigh? Unloaded vehicle weight, 5,500 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 7,200 pounds. Still extremely lightweight, made for the half ton trucks, uh, but room, space, and comfort. But once again, that separation of space, if you're looking for it, not there. But if you're an active couple that wants the upgraded features and amenities that Keystone Cougar provides in their travel trailers, this 22 RBS is a great pick, especially if you need to sleep four or less in some yeah, pretty tight quarters. But do me a favor, leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about this one, what you not like about it. Because we love hearing from you, plus we take that back to Keystone and say, hey, this is what the people like and don't like. And please, while you're at it, click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Until next time, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the 22 RBS. And please, come check out a camper because they're fun.